Hello everyone and welcome, welcome to IndieX. For, For those who have just who joined, joined us right now, welcome, welcome. You are still on time to see a lot of amazing games today and on the next day, on the next days as well. So right now we are going to talk about a game called The Perfect Pencil. And to help us understand what this game is all about, we will have with us the, the game director, Steph, Stefano Rousey. Welcome, Stefano. How are you today? Thank you. I'm good. And what about you? I'm fine too. Oh, I love your poster. Thank you. <laughs> the perfect pencil poster. Yeah, so, we, we so. took it from a fair that we did in Milano. Oh, that's cool. Well, let's talk about this very pretty, this actually very gorgeous game, the perfect pencil. So let's talk about a little bit about your team. You are this game's director, but you have a huge team, right? Yes. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say huge, but we are uh, 10 people now, more or less. And uh, we grew over the years. Uh, so it's been three years, almost. Yeah. This is your the... first game, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Studio yeah, Sima. Is. That's yes. what your yeah. team is called now. Yes. Um, so we are more or less 10. And um, we then we collaborate with an external studio for the music and the sound effects part. So we are a bit no, more than 10 in the end. Uh, cool. Yeah, so yeah, we grew, we grew over the years uh together with the the project uh, that started at something much more uh small and uh, uh we needed more people <laughs> so so we looked for them yeah. and uh, and you grew the we team together yeah yeah that's really nice it means that the project has grown to well a whole new level and places you probably never imagined before yeah so. <laughs> yeah Absolutely. Yeah. Let's yeah. go and take a look at the game. This is a very, very gorgeous game. Thank you. Everything is, well, it looks hand drawn. It's really pretty. Yeah, it is. It is hand drawn and pretty. For me as well. I've been playing for a while, but, well, the demo. And, mm -hmm. well, let's start from, from the beginning. Yeah. So, you guys describe this game as a personal growth journey of our first uh, of our main character john this will be we will help him in his journey of personal growth and you describe this game as um a world full of allegories where did this idea come from how did you get to this point yeah, uh, so um, the game, uh, uh, the game idea was born from the desire to tell a story and um, to uh, tell it through um, to everyone, this, to all the this, players. Yeah, yeah, this allegorical representation, as you said um I, I before i started this project i was uh, i used to draw and paint uh, all uh, these uh, let's say weird characters uh that uh, to me were representing um uh, very well some aspects of life that i was going through and uh oh i see and um the so the the idea was to uh build the world uh, with this character and uh, this story for the players to explore at their own pace and uh, uh, dig, let's say, how much they they felt like, how much they 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 wanted, uh, and to unravel uh, the the aspects, uh, the many aspects of the story. So. Um, the story, the story focus is uh, around fear. So um, yes, John is trapped 
in a world of fear? Personal experience of um, of uh, an anxiety disorder, and uh, uh, that brought to explore the relationship that uh, people have with with fear and the many uh, the many consequences of uh, this relationship. So, so um, in the game, basically, um, you explore this world where you are uh, you help John. Uh, which is not the hero of the story, but is um, another person that found himself here. So um, you'll find a lot of other characters that are going through through this journey as well, and uh, you can interact with them. And, oh, yeah, and um, you can interact. This is pretty with them. intense, right from the start. Yeah, yeah. It's. Well, it's uneasy, the environment. You get you start in a dark place and you just got your head and you are greeted by someone really strange. Yeah. Yeah, and... yeah we have a lot of strange uh characters in the game. Um but uh yeah, it, it, it can get dark in the game, uh but you also have uh light uh more light moments and uh the story we want to tell has uh, uh, multiple endings, so it's based on the the path oh. that you, yes, the path that you build uh, yourself uh, through choices, through exploration, and um, uh, what we are trying to do is to uh, connect uh, the best we can uh, the narrative, the gameplay, the the stories, the choices, so that. Uh, the player, the players can can experience um, uh, a journey that uh, will. Uh, they can uh, grow themselves and yeah, relate no. to the character, right? Because this will be, I think, I believe, I've played a bit. This will be a very personal experience for everyone because since everything yeah. is so meaningful and full of symbols everyone will relate to it differently because we yeah, all have yeah, we hope, different we stories hope. right yeah yes yes we hope that will be the case so uh we tried to um divide the world in uh different uh thematics um so you you will uh, go through uh different areas uh each with uh, a main teams uh, main team but uh inside of it you will have many many aspects of the, the theme that you will uh, um, get in contact through the quests, the secrets, uh, the enemies, the, the NPCs that you will find, and the choices that you will make. So um, yes, we, 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 we really tried, we, we are really trying to tie together also the, the narrative and the gameplay part. Uh, you can play the game uh, without um, following too much the narrative, because we. You can. Yeah, you you can. I mean, there there are a few um, um, few steps in the story yeah. where you have to 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 go through them, uh, yeah. but uh, most of them and uh, the real the real focus of the game will be uh, around you exploring what is not mandatory so the more the more you explore the more you can gather information um, secrets power-ups uh, and, uh, and, uh, and actually help and other characters in the game right yeah yeah you can help them they can help you you cannot help them they cannot help you uh, not so that will be impactful uh, as well, right? Towards the ending. I mean, if you can find a lot of people that you can choose to, to help or not, or try to help, because sometimes we are in a place in our lives that we can't really help anyone. Yeah. So yeah. sometimes it that might like be that. the case sometimes. Um, so yeah, we, we tried to, to develop all these uh, different situations. Uh, that are not always uh, uh, comfortable uh, because for for us this let let's call this a simulation uh, the, the video game 
yeah. uh, was also a, uh, a medium uh, to explore um, these things and to um, make the players uh, get involved in these things uh, inside a sort of simulation, which is the game, and um, see how they react yeah. to it, uh, see how they choose to go forward, see how they what they understand yeah. from the characters and uh, their their own journey. So we, we hope to, to, yeah, to... Yeah, and help you along the way, right? Simulate something like this. Sorry, what? And help you, and help the player itself along the way, because sometimes there are games like this, or movies like this, or any media, really, that resonates within us and mm. help us cope with something Some that we probably haven't thought about that before or didn't really relate with anything up until now and I'm saying this because right away the first part of the game it it really resonated with me I hope we get oh. that character the lady in, in the bed and that was me a few years ago I couldn't really get out of bed and well you try to help the characters you are trying to help yourself maybe everyone's journey will be different it's that what I feel with this game very well done, really. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we, 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 that's what, that's what we hope for, uh, that it can resonate with our, our art. Yeah, we had a word. Uh, more than we can with something we have inside, so it's not, yeah. it's not always easy, and uh, I think one of the biggest challenges is to find the right way to tell and convey some stuff that are might be complicated uh, because you know you can say you can you can I don't know say the the usual uh, uh, things about getting better and stuff like that but we we try to go a bit deeper uh, with the narrative and the, the characters and the situation here so sometimes it's it's very difficult to find the, the right way to um, to tell something. Um, yeah. Also, because we are we are making it, we are writing it, so um, to know how other people will will perceive it. I mean, it's it's not we can test it, but it's not. It's not. So this uh, is still assured. an ongoing project. Yeah, yeah. We're still writing the game. It's not finished yet, or almost. No. Or something. No, no, we are a uh, good point at good point, but it's not finished yet. Yeah. So, so you keep adding more areas, I guess, because if you if we play for a while, we can see that we go through an area and we find a way to kind of connect it to the beginning. So, so mm -hmm. we can kind of shortcut right to the next area. I found out. I found that. Yeah. I thought it's, it was amazing, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, no. So we we have everything defined. And um, we we will not be adding more areas uh, now. Uh, I mean, uh, we will yeah. not add to the initial to the initial plan. Uh, but um, yeah, we still we we are still working on some of them, and then we will uh, we'll have uh, all the testing and polish part in the end. So. Oh, yeah, that's it, really it, nice. Yeah, it, it, it will take uh, a bit more, but um, we really want to make it uh, the best we can. Uh, so, so, yeah. Let me, let me just tell you that when I when I found out this guy, for when, when I met this guy for the first time, you, <laughs> you actually triggered one of my worst, worst fears in, in childhood. This, this guy looks oh. a, a lot like the happy salesman, happy mask salesman guy in Majora's Mask. And I oh. was like, oh my God, this oh my is going God. to be terrible. terrible. This is going to be really scary. scary. And, and a, a deep dive, I don't know, I don't know into know. purgatory or something. something. <laughs> I just I saw this guy. This guy. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I, he's one of my favorite characters, uh, and also of the the girl that helps me uh, writing the the narrative. Um, he's one of our favorite characters, and uh, I, I've never thought about him uh, 
<laughs> similar to the mask guy, but maybe it was, uh, uh, I don't know, a trauma I had as well from, from when I was younger. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I, I actually love that character. So I've replayed it uh, like two months ago. It's an awesome game. Yeah, it is. Well, you see, right from the beginning, everyone can interpret this in a different yeah. way. And yeah, it yeah. trigger different things. It is amazing. And yeah. well, up, up until to this point, uh, we just got to know some characters and we learned our first skill, analysis. It will be really helpful. And we just got our sword by removing yes. it from the leg of this nice fella yes. over here. Yes. Yeah, this is quite, uh, <laughs> it's quite funny. Yeah, it's quite funny. Quite funny. Yeah, so these are the, the two main, uh, main uh, aspects of the game. So there will be exploration and combat. Uh, the, yeah, here's the, the healing ability. So uh, what we wanted to um, create with this ability was... Uh, Okay. Oops, I did not use my healing ability again, so I no, did not no, kill I... my final part of my life. Ah, okay. Um. So. Uh. Yeah. These are the the two main game uh gameplay aspects of the game. So you have exploration and you have combat. The exploration part will be uh both uh let's say physical with the classical platforming uh. Um, gameplay with the different abilities that you will unlock uh, uh, like in the metroidvanias uh, that, that will help you grow your skills uh, uh, both in combat and uh, explore new areas um, and you will have uh, uh, let's say a narrative exploration uh, which will be granted by the analysis ability and um, that exploration is uh, mostly up to you because there are a lot of objects, uh, characters, and uh, different things that you that you can analyze and interact with, and uh, gather information, find secrets, uh, make choices, uh, mini games, and stuff like that. So, um, what we wanted to do. Uh, to put it simply, was to create a gameplay that um, uh, would, uh, how do you say, ah, you tricked me. Uh, would, uh, um, it, it is not, if you, if you take uh, usual, uh, the classical metroidvanias, they're usually um, uh, lonely worlds, uh, yeah. lonely and um, not aggressive, but uh, yeah, I don't remember the word. A lonely words where where hostile, yeah, where you are always yeah. uh, under the pressure of the enemies and stuff like that. But uh, in this world, there there will be a lot of uh, light moments and uh, narrative moments where you can uh, explore them at your uh, home pace, yeah. and uh, um, you're you're not lonely at all, uh, usually, in most of the game. And, um, and we just so, got tricked. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, he's got he got tricked with uh with Wiener Schnitzel, uh, which I don't know if if you have them in Portugal. I have, I have the what? Sorry. Uh, if you have the plate Wiener Schnitzel. I, mean, I have no idea what that is. Sorry. No, you. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's uh, uh, meat with uh, I don't know what to say. It's it has like uh, breadcrumbs on it, which is uh, I don't know what to explain. Um, so <laughs> anyway, I was saying um, uh, we we took the um, yeah the, the system of a metroidvania. Uh, which will not be so uh, open uh, because we needed we needed to be a bit closer in order to tell our story and uh, yeah. uh, a type of gameplay that uh, we really liked and we wanted to insert is a uh, uh, gameplay inspired by graphic adventures uh, so I like I really liked uh, 
I really love the Monkey Island games and uh, you know those, those those type of games. Yeah, I do so, as well. Point and clicks, adventure games. Yeah. Yes, yes. So so um, our game is um, a mix of the two, and uh, yeah, we, we we mix the two in some ways to to tell our story. Yeah, and, and we uh, will we will have, in this game we even have like a collector thingy going around. I I, I came to this place because I yeah, I, I thought this was amazing. You know, I I can totally relate to, to John <laughs> all of the times and we we even have an aspect like this in the game. Mm -hmm. It looks like a marvelous cabinet that cabinet. contains the world's greatest tea collection. And we will yeah. have to collect a lot of a lot of tea. Yes. Again, sorry, I love I this love this detail. It was amazing. <laughs> I felt really happy when I found this. Yeah, uh, we 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 are trying to 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 make it really personal in the the hope that the more personal it is, the more it will uh, resonate. So yeah. we'll see how it goes. And, and uh, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and lots um, of secrets. Yeah, there, there are a lot of them. And um, so, yeah, the other aspects of the game, uh, the main aspect is combat, and uh, the main combat ability is the healing attack um, that you just did. Uh, and um, it's, uh, it's an ability that we built upon the concept that you have to uh, confront... Uh, yes your fears and uh, enemies here, let, let's put it simple, in the game, in order to hear yourself, to com confront things and go forward and survive in your journey. So when you are the most vulnerable, usually, so when your health is low, uh, you will like to expose yourself to the danger in order to survive. And this will create uh, a lot of tense situation um, because you you will you will you will need to expose yourself when your health is low. Yeah, um, and all the enemies in this game, the 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 fighting component, the the combat component in this game. Yes. It's, it's pretty complex as well. You have slow enemies, you have faster enemies, and they will follow different trajectories. And so it's never boring. It's never the same. Different fears, yeah. different times. Yes, yes. We we tried we tried to start a bit slow here, and um, so this is the first area is like a big uh, tutorial. And, uh, I got a carpet. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's it is a drawing. If you you have uh, you've collected the uh, is it's in the treasure section. By the way, we can we can talk about this now. This is our menu. How cool yeah. is this? It's a camera obscura. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, well, it's a it's a it's a representation of of, of our mind, you know, of the inside of the, the head of the main character. So which uh, a nice yeah, this, carpet. <laughs> this, these are some of the drawings uh, that uh, firstly inspired the game. Uh, which I was making before starting the project, and um, I always liked the the the, I, the ideas behind the, the behind them, even though I, I I've never been really really good at drawing. So, but uh, I always enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, so we put it inside uh, oh, as as collectibles. And our powers are here as well. And yes. right now, yes, right this is now what you I have. have only, yeah, you only have uh, three of them. One is uh, is a secret. I mean, you you will you will be told later in the game, but you already have. Uh, well, if you want, I can tell you. Oh, you mean the flimsy cape? Because on the trailer, you could jump and dash the air so maybe no these are these are uh the c categories of the different power-ups and it, it's mainly a narrative reason the, the the division 
but you do already have another power up uh, that that you didn't use because it's you have it from the beginning but you it's a secret see this is one of our first encounters the the lady yes yes is sleeping yeah <laughs> yes i was about to fall asleep and that first yeah. alarm clock almost woke me up with its poking waking arm <laughs> yeah. i said it for a reason but now i can't think of any reason good enough to endure the waking up oh we can relate this <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So this is one of our one of the first quests we can do on this game. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it, it is a, a, a tutorial quest that that will make you use the analysis ability um, to search for objects around the, the environment and uh, and then get 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 them back to to her. As she tells us, we are. I see that you are in possession of a shiny radar there. It's the, yes. the thing that blinks on our yes. upper right corner. Yes, exactly. That will help you. I don't know if it's the same in English. Uh, we have uh, water and fire. No, cold and hot. Yeah. You know the game where you, the, the closer you get. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it works like that. Yeah, it will blink a lot faster and a lot uh, noisier if we get close to, to what we are looking for exactly and we'll we will get a feeling of that yes yeah, so, so so that oh. you you will have to search uh, guided by that yes and those are the maps my map my map was updated because i maps went total. throughout the entire area no That's you, you... for the lady yeah, you have to destroy those, uh, find and destroy those bubbles, the the gray one you just found, in order to unlock different pieces of the map. So oh. it wouldn't it wouldn't uh, unveil uh, the usual way uh, just by exploration, but you will have to find those uh, um, those objects and uh, destroy them in order to oh. unlock different pieces of the map. I didn't understand that. I was just, just killing them all because, well, we need to do everything on a game, right? And, well, yeah. money, I think. Are the, the green bubbles money or currency for something in the game? I haven't yes. touched this part yet. Yes, they are the, the currency of the game. They're, they're not considered money, but they are, they are the currency. On my carpet. And, well, we are... Oh, sorry. No problem. And um, yeah, so uh, yeah, getting uh, cold. Oh, need to climb this up. Again. Yeah, you have to go from the yes. Exactly. And when we change areas in this game, well, so uh, I think the main the. Usual time to to complete this first area is between one and a half uh, two hours, and uh, and then you move forward to the to the second area. Actually, it's this area is divided by two, so there's a change yeah. in environment. Uh, it's uh, the entirety of the demo. It's the entire first area. Yes. Yes. So it's the hotel area because I got to a hotel almost. Yes, exactly. And I stopped playing. Exactly. After the hotel, you you get the end of the demo. There's a there's a special thing in the end, and then you end the demo. And um, and then there are other areas from there, uh, which each uh, represent a theme that um, we placed. Uh, uh, Based on the 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 path that we think uh, we think uh, or the path we we, we felt was uh, um, uh, meaningful in terms yeah. of uh, of uh, evolution. So there's like this first area is the one where you find uh, people that are 
um, too scared to start uh, their journey, and so they mm. they 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 try to find the most comfortable way to rot here, basically, uh, to not 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 start this scary journey and. Uh, yeah, they, that makes they, they sense. Tra they're trying to survive uh, how they can. And uh, we will have uh, the next area, which is the which is a town. Um, we'll have the main uh, uh, the, the main theme is uh, shame and judgment. Uh, then we will have uh, loneliness, rage and uh, so on. That's so, really cool. That's yeah, really cool I, because I, I felt something like that on, on this first area everyone was just getting cozy and comfortable and not dealing with something else yeah doing something different and just cuddling up on your on your corner to stay there forever yeah. it was yes yeah. yeah yeah exactly i i it, it is uh it is something that um we we're trying to uh tell without being too obvious but with uh, giving you little pieces of what uh, what experiencing this might might feel like might be because it's something we we have experienced as well yeah um and it I it mean, plays open for everyone to interpret in different ways for yes, example yes, i feel like, like we didn't really help the lady that much because she, she in the end she, she want to keep going so maybe it's not yet the, cor the the perfect day for her to move along yeah yeah you you'll find that uh, there are, that there are a lot of situations which are not i mean johnny is not is not the hero of the story is not it's not probably it, it might be the hero of his story but uh he has uh, some light and some dark inside him as well so uh, you, you, has everyone else in the game, so you will find uh, many different. Uh, yeah, he's trying to argue. Yeah, this guy is hard. I died a lot <laughs> of times here, and just yeah, he really wants for, to argue. Yeah, just for streaming purposes, I'm going to uh, let myself be hugged. Okay. To see what happens in this game. So sometimes this happens. <laughs> yes. And sometimes something else happens as well. I don't know oh. if you if you experienced it. There's a guy that steals from me. Sometimes. Yes, there's a guy that steals. I find this detail here really cozy, you know, because I failed. I, I didn't manage to, to conquer my, my fear to, to move on with what, what I was doing and I returned here to, to my safe place where someone just patted me and said, well, yes. it's okay, try again, it's okay. Yes. I mean, I mean, there's people like, people will relate to this a lot. It's like there's um, an idea of behind the game. It's like there's a safety, some kind of safety net uh, uh, where, where you can... Uh, recharge uh before trying again to to move forward so that's a, yeah, it's actually a, really a lot of thought. yeah actually a lot of um metroidvanias and gameplay um usual uh activities let's say or mechanics are are, are given a meaning here and they they're quite they're quite uh, uh, spot on for for what we wanted to tell. Okay, now I'm so just being silly. <laughs> Sorry. So some things came natural. Um, I forgot what I was saying before. Sorry, but yeah, no, this no, is no. not this is not a given game. This is not like plain easy. Even no. these enemies, they are kind of hidden throughout the scenery and. Yeah, I, I got it by pillows like a lot of times, <laughs> and yeah, I, yes, I, got I know a lot of times. I know. So, some some things are still work in progress because we actually uh, already changed the visibility of some of them because they were a bit uh, 
how do you say um a bit too, yeah, even. too much yeah so they were they were un they were unfair so we changed them a little bit and uh, we tested them some some might be still some might still need a, a little what's that's a letter another first riddle oh we have yes. a, a riddle here yeah the treasure yes no. oh in the fragments maybe ah, letters no letters yeah yeah because sometimes some things are not going to be revealed right away but by our radar we will yeah, need to no, find some, these no. riddles it's pretty cool yes <laughs> yes some some yes we, we tried to play with the with the, the with the different uh, mechanics no. we have and uh, make you use them make you uh don't, I'm just don't. being bad you can you can cheat you can cheat in from there ah no no we fixed it I'm sorry. <laughs> can what? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, because it bef I know you, you still can a little bit. Yeah, I'm kind of cheating here because I'm filling up my HP. Yeah, you're cheesing. <laughs> but sorry, it's fine. No, but... It's fine. It's fine. It's there for uh, for that. Yeah, because this guy is hard. I I collapsed a few times here, but from everything I've played, well, yeah, we we can tell everyone that this this is not going to be an easy ride there's there's a um an opponent a bit further this is a, a change in, in area mm -hmm. there's a, an opponent a bit further the guy in the um, in the kids uh cradle i think mm -hmm. where you put the baby to, to sleep and they yeah. are just crazy fast and <laughs> yes i got destroyed a lot <laughs> this game yes. is being an amazing experience yeah uh yeah which we we uh i mean we tried to um make the the first area um with different with with different levels of um of challenges of challenge yeah. but um but yes the 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 uh the more you get into the game, the more you explore and go forward. Uh, you will have uh, you will have no. different enemies. Uh, each area have different enemies, uh, and in the mechanics and in move sets. Uh, Three different areas are in the game right now. Uh, so we have. Uh, We're planning to do. Um, sorry, yeah. Be Let's say place. seven, seven That's areas. That's a lot. Seven areas, yeah. Um, uh, some of them are bigger, some of them are smaller, but how long uh, are say you seven usually taking past the game right now? That's a lot. Seven areas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's uh No, that's a lot in the good way. No, no, I know. <laughs> also in development way is uh, it's a lot. Oh, but yeah, again. so so yeah, there there will be seven uh one will be mostly narrative uh and uh you will have four big areas and uh two smaller three and one narrative and uh, other little bits of different things and uh, uh but yeah what what is your what is the expected release date of this game because i think it's still to be determined right uh yeah yeah we 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 had to move it a bit further but um right now uh our um uh, we are trying to i mean not no we're trying to i'm sorry uh our expected uh release frame time frame is uh, in the beginning of 2024. oh so we will so, still have to wait a bit yes okay. but you can I play can the wait. demo you can play the demo 
And one it's question that I know it's going to pop up is, will yeah. this only be available for computer? Or we will will we be able to play it, let's say, on Switch, on PlayStation? Xbox, yes, whatever. yes. Uh, so our um, initial release, uh, we're planning to do a PC and Switch release um, together. Very and ridiculous. Yeah, and then uh, we want to um, go on Xbox release it on Xbox, and then we'll see how it goes from there. I think th those are very good plans. Uh, well, yes, I mean, I will be, be waiting. To see the game. OK, thank you. Me, and I bet more people in the, in the chat, we will be waiting anxiously for this game. I'm glad you decided to take the approach on consoles as well, because right now, I, I forgot to say this, but I'm playing with my keyboard. But yeah, uh, I, I guess that later on we will be able to play with the controller as well. No, you can also now. Uh, I can. Uh, yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no problem. It's just a bit harder with the keyboard. So yes, no, we we absolutely want to to release on Switch because uh, it's a dream come true. So. So it's yeah. harder on the keyboard. That's why. Yes, it's harder on the keyboard. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I, I play only with the keyboard right now because I always lose my my controller oh, yep. when I do something. But, but uh... this is really hard to talk with you and and yeah, focus I know. on this game I know, because I know. it's not easy. It does seem like a journey, and we are going to talk about feelings and deep stuff. But you are still going against opponents, yeah. and I'm pretty yeah. sure this this will. This game will will be played by speedrunners most likely as well, so so it will it will be a very good game for this maybe. We, yeah, <laughs> we we had we had few uh, speedrunners testers, Ooh. and uh, yeah, they're amazing. They found uh, they found a lot of bugs which they could uh, uh, use to jumps different uh, different. Um, steps of the game like we have we had this um this bug that if you keep pausing and uh i'm pausing the game the player would like float uh oh. jump and float and yeah and get over stuff so <laughs> they, they found out straight away and uh yeah it's, it's really it's fun cool. to it's really fun to watch them play the game and uh and try to find all the different ways to break it and uh destroy what you have done <laughs> yeah i know they they, they are the best they, they're one of the best to, to try everything and yeah well, i must say i really love this game i really love our little time here talking because it I'm was happy. really a little time because it all yeah it went by so fast the game is amazing the message is really good and i think i think people will relate to it enjoy, enjoy we hope so along with john john and thank you so much for your time and for this thank you piece. for yours i'm happy that you liked the game and that you invited us me so everyone stay tuned for the next game in a little bit go grab some tea like we did on this game see you later <laughs> thank you bye